Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the marginal probability density function, marginal PDF. It is also known as marginal density. Okay, so we have already discussed in the previous lectures about uh, what are random variables and what is probability density function and cumulative distribution function known as PDF and CDF in short. And also we have uh, discussed the joint PDF and joint CDF also. So it's time now to discuss marginal PDF. The probability density functions for random variables x and y are denoted by this small f of x and f of y. Okay. So when the probability density functions for uh, any single random variable are obtained from the joint probability density function. In that case, this fx and fy are called as marginal PDF or marginal densities. It means because we have already discussed what is joint probability density function. So whenever we get the probability density function of a random variable x or for y from this joint PDF fxy, f of xy, then in that case, we call these uh, probability density functions as a marginal PDF or the marginal densities. Here we will see what I mean. So first of all, here we will see the proof that uh, how we can get the probability density functions for random variables x and y from the joint probability density function. And in that case, these random these uh, probability density functions PDFs will be known as marginal densities or marginal PDF. So let's see it because we know that uh, the cumulative distribution function, this is the notation for cumulative distribution function capital X for random variable X is denoted by integral minus infinity to X f of, f of X dx. Okay, we, this is the standard uh, formula to get the cumulative distribution function from the probability density function. This is the x is a random variable and this is small f. This notation denotes the PDF. So this is the formula to obtain cumulative distribution function from the probability density function by integrating it. So if we extend it to two random variables x and y here it is for a single random variable x x and now we want it to extend for uh, Two random variables random variable x and random variable y so it can be written as f x y just uh, place y also so f x y of okay f of x y is equals to probability that x this random variable x is less than x and this random variable y is less than y this is the standard form because uh, the cumulative distribution functions uh, by the definition of cumulative distribution function we know that uh, f of x is equals to probability that x is less than x. Okay, this random variable x is less than this is the value of uh, uh, capital X. Okay, random variable, this is a part of a random variable set. Okay, capital X is a random variable and a small x is the value within this random variable x. So for by extending it to two uh, variables x and y, uh, we can write we can uh, write the extended form as probability that x is less than x and y is less than y is just extended to this. Look at this. So integral from minus infinity to y and uh, minus infinity to x and at this place uh, add y also f of xy xy dx dy also add dy here. So this, this is just the ex, this is just the extension of it. You can understand it easily. Now to find the cumulative distribution function of the random variable x. Okay, this capital X, the value of other random variable y does not matter. So you can write it as uh, we have seen that uh, this f of x y equals to probability that x is less than x and y is less than y. But here the value of y does not matter here. So we can write it as because we want to find the probability because we want to uh, find the cumulative distribution function. 
here we are finding the cumulative distribution first okay so cumulative distribution functions uh, definition is this so f of x for random variable x is equals to probability that x is less than x so it can also be written as because uh, it is not uh, depending this this we know already the standard definition of cumulative distribution function so it can be extended to this also because it will not affect it because we are taking the infinite range of uh, other, another random variable it is not depending on y so just add this range also so it can be written as from the previous formula that this cumulative distribution function minus infinity to infinity for the values of y this is the range we have seen that this is the range of y minus infinity to y so y is not uh, it is not depending on y so we are taking it from minus infinity to infinity and under things as it is same limits for x minus infinity to x f of x y so dx dy okay now on differentiating with respect to x on both sides as we want to find the probability density function in this case and we know that on differentiating the cumulative distribution function we can get the probability density function so let's differentiate it on both sides with respect to x okay so d by dx of this just differentiate this side and this side also d by dx of f of x equals to d by dx of this term okay as it is so we get that this is this this is what this is nothing but the differentiation of cumulative distribution function which is same as the which is equal to the probability density function f of x okay a small f denotes the pdf capital f denotes the cdf okay so this pdf is equal to this is this function has been integrated and differentiated with respect to x both so it will cancel out okay opposite as integration and differentiation are reverse processes so you can easily uh, simplify it to minus infinity to infinity only y terms are left minus infinity to infinity f of x y dy this dx and differentiation integration cancels out okay so this is how we can uh, get the marginal density okay this is the marginal density because we are getting this probability density function of x random variable x from the joint pdf okay joint pdf so it is marginal pdf okay in the same way you can write the you can find out the marginal pdf for random variable y also exactly the same way look at this this is for x we have seen and this one is for y so just replace capital x with capital y so marginal density for random variable y pd marginal pdf is equals to integration from minus infinity to infinity f of x y x y d here replace it by dx okay so as i have already told you that here fx and fy are known as the marginal probability density functions or simply the marginal densities as both of these probability density functions pdfs are obtained from the joint pdf that is f of x y so that's it so did you get the concept if yes then please uh, like and share the video and if you liked it then you can also subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos so that you can get the notifications of my latest uploaded videos as soon as i release them so keep watching engineering made easy thanks for watching bye bye today we will discuss random variables and what are discrete random variables and continuous random variables these are two types of random variables so we will uh, discuss these both kinds of random variables here but before knowing what are random variables let me tell you some uh, terminologies that will be used here what is sample space actually the range of all possible outcomes of an experiment is known as the sample space okay so whenever we perform any experiment like uh, suppose uh, we are tossing three coins at the same time okay this is uh, the experiment okay and uh, then we may have uh, heads or tails on any of these coin so either we may have heads on all these three coins we may have uh, tails on all these three coins or two heads one tail and 
two tails one head so there are a lot of possibilities there are total eight possibilities so all these outcomes of this uh, experiment of tossing three coins is called the sample space all these outcomes are under this sample space and uh, what is random variable here first uh, let me tell you the definition of these uh, sample space and random variables after this i will explain you what is a sample space and random variable with the help of example so a random variable is a function it is a function which can take on any value from the sample space the sample space contains all the outcomes all the possible outcomes of that experiment as we have seen in the coin example so this takes on some values that are part of sample space from this okay from this sample space and having range of some set of real numbers okay is known as the random variable of the experiment